Well, it involves Hallmark employees from right here in the metro. They're getting the opportunity to use their work time for a great cause and get creative in the process. Did you scout the houses first and then design based on the need of the house? Yeah, so we're working with Land Bank, and Land Bank owns about 100 homes throughout the city that have been foreclosed on. So they provided some of the houses to us, and they gave us the dimensions for the windows and the doors. And from there, we sort of got together as teams and decided what we wanted our houses to look like, what we wanted the theme and the colors to be, and we just sort of went from there. What does it mean to you to see these going up on the houses here? I mean, you know that you had a hand in creating something that's going to make these houses a little bit more desirable for future investors. Yeah, it makes me feel really proud because not only am I getting to like step away from my day-to-day -day work and make these beautiful pieces of art, but I get to come out into the community and we've already talked to a few neighbors that just say how much they love their community and mm -hmm. how someone, you know, a jazz musician used to live here. So really? they're really proud of these neighborhoods. So it makes me happy to, you know, beautify those neighborhoods and turn these houses into works of art. I know you guys designed them last Thursday. Can you just walk a little bit through that process of of the design work, laying everything out, and then planning it out before you bring them out here? Sure, I, I thought we were just gonna kind of show up and doodle because again, <laughs> I'm not an artist, but it was a pretty intense process. Yeah. We sort of picked a color palette. Um, there was a graphic designer on my team who laid it all out for us. We worked with Matt Kessler, who's an artist, and he helped um, with a projector so that we sketched it all out in pencil. Mm -hmm. And then last Thursday, we really got down and dirty and painted all the boards, let them dry, and then today we're getting to hang them. Now that you've done the artwork, is there a future for you at the design team at Hallmark? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, my This is not my house, and my house consisted of a lot of straight lines. I did provide a quote because I'm a writer, mm -hmm. so that's what I really leaned into. No, I will not be doing any art at Hallmark. What was your quote on the house? <laughs> Love fills every room and shines through every window. Beautiful. That's All right. Close. Well, is there anything else that we need to know about uh, the project here, either in this house or just in the project in general that you want to let us know about? I think I want to talk about how important it is that Hallmark gives back to the community. Yeah. Hallmark gives the creative, um, the creative division five full days to um, sort of go out and explore your creative talents. It's called My Five Days. So we can volunteer, we can learn how to do cake decorating, basically step away from our day-to-day -day desk job and just really stay creatively focused. So I was really proud that I got to use my office time, my work time to give back to the community through that yeah. program. Yeah, it's a really cool project and the uh, Kansas City Land Bank says it makes a difference too. The homes with the Hallmark Design panels sell quicker and they're less likely to be broken into. So well done to the folks there at Hallmark.